Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 94, which was released on November 2nd and is the 10th major browser update in 2021. There were several changes implemented in this update, and I'll cover some of these changes in this new browser update. First up, colorway theme colors. You'll see this dialog box to select a color palette when you first install Firefox or update to the latest version. You can explore colorways by using this button. You'll find six main seasonal colors with soft, balanced, and bold color tones to customize Firefox. You can also find these colorways by going to About colon Add-ons in the Theme section, as you can see here. Secondly, tab Unloading. If you go to About colon Unloads, you can now manually unload tabs that are hogging system resources without closing the tabs. Thirdly, Windows Background Updates. If you go to About colon Preferences, in the General tab, under the Allow Firefox 2 section, you can set up updates to happen automatically using the background agent. I've personally disabled this automatic update feature by unchecking this box. Fourthly, Site Isolation, which is a security feature in Firefox 94. Firefox will now protect users against site channel attacks, such as Spectre. It allows Firefox to completely separate code originating from different sites and in turn defends against malicious sites trying to access sensitive information from other sites you're visiting. You can read this in-depth article by Annie to better understand how site isolation works. You'll find the link in the description section. Fifthly, Exit Browser Warning. Firefox no longer warns users by default that multiple tabs are open when the browser is being closed. However, if you go to About colon Preferences and under General, in the Tab section, you can check this box if you want to get the warning message. And finally, Multi-Account Containers. They have now rolled out Firefox Multi-Account Containers extension with integration of Mozilla's VPN service. This lets you use a different server location for each container. There were a few other fixes implemented in this new browser update, but that's pretty much it in terms of notable changes in Firefox 94. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remains steady compared to the earlier version, but Google Chrome continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.